Hello, everybody, welcome back to WWTF, we're the Press Game Show. My C. And I'm Fred Wack. And today we're talking to you about your buddy Xbox. Yes. Are y'all ready for an Xbox Steam Machine? Yeah, <laughs> we're here. It's coming. And um, the craziest thing about this is it, it got leaked, and they Microsoft has two different SKUs for another mid generation of the Xbox S, where they're going to have two different Xbox now. They're probably going to slim it down a little bit more. And they're going to have an Xbox <coughs> S without an optical drive. Oh. Which they're, they're, they're putting in uh, testing to see how people are going to function with uh, these game systems with no optical drives. And they're saying if you already own a physical media, there's going to be some way for you to go ahead and turn it into a digital media. So I, I think, like maybe for an example, and this isn't uh, this isn't true or anything like that. I'm just hypothetically speaking. Like maybe you could take it into Best Buy, and then they'll give you a digital code for your game. So if you have Gears of War four hard copy, mm -hmm. maybe you could take it into either Best Buy or the Microsoft Store, and then they'll give you a digital code for that game. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't like it. Why don't you like it, Fred? I really don't like it because this is the thing, man. As much trash as I talk about GameStop, and I talk a lot of trash about these people, that is going to put them out of business. It, it really is. It is. And these mom and pop uh, uh, video game stores. Now, as essential as the barbershop is to the black community, Mm -hmm. Where you go there, you get therapy, or you just go there to, you know, to meet people, chew it up with the fellas mm -hmm. and the females. You know, some of them go to the barbers to do that as well. So, um, and every barber, every barber, every every barber shop in town, you go to, um, and you get some word of wisdom, and that is that is in everybody's culture, black or white. Right? right? As essential as that is to getting your hair cut and getting advice and stuff like that, because a barber, you can go there with a problem and maybe one of them can help you solve it and stuff like that. Me, I don't go to the barber shop. I'm self-cut. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I haven't been to a barber shop in over 20 years. And um, so that is a much essential to gamers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And people that go to GameStop because you and I both have met some wonderful people You're right. that worked at GameStop. Yep. Shout out to uh, Penn Station mm -hmm. and Fors Forsville, just, just because Juan works up there. I don't know if he still works up there mm -hmm. now. But, um, you know, a lot of gamers go there. If, if it's a good GameStop, if the people know what they're talking about, mm -hmm. you get a lot of good wisdom. You get a lot of... Uh, uh, camaraderie, or I'm saying that wrong. That's the wrong word. Right. But yeah, there you go. So back and forth. They sometimes even they give you advice and stuff like that. I remember going to the Brandywine Maryland store, mm -hmm. and I just went in there to do one transaction. And big shout outs to Brandywine um, mm -hmm. Maryland and too, and Clinton. And um, I was talking to this guy, and nobody else came into the store, and we talked for about an hour. Yeah. Nobody came into the store. Big dude. Big dude. Big yeah, white dude. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And we was just conversating back and forth. Now, I do have to say, when I walked in there, he kept an eye on me real quick because <laughs> he thought I was trying to steal something. Man. But after that, we started talking, man, and he he knew I knew what I was talking about, and I knew what uh I knew that he knew. What he was talking about, and we just had a conversation. It started from a game release to retro consoles. Then we started talking about Atari's and ColecoVisions and stuff like that. And it, it's just that if you take that away from gamers, mm -hmm. and then uh, it's it's going to be a r really really sad thing, man. Right. Just to take physical media. Away, and I, I guess Xbox is jumping on it, and they're probably doing this to test out the the new Scarlet Xbox, codename Scarlet, mm -hmm. 
to see if what they're going to do with that one. Right. Now, if they come out with two different Scarlet or whatever the next Xbox or whatever the next PlayStation console is called, if they come out with two different versions, I think, number one, I don't think they're going to do that one because it's going to cost too mm -hmm. much. Yeah. But if they did that, that would give people an option. Just say, okay, I want one with a physical drive. I want one without a physical drive, right. uh, optical drive. Right. Well, with this optical drive and no drive and everything like that, me personally, I like the physical type of media for reasons that you just said as far as hitting on that. Um, and it feels like too much control over, you know, you really can't do that, you know, trade games in type of thing, mm -hmm. you know, let your boy use your game or something like that, you know. That basically eliminates all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So you gotta have it on that console unless you're gonna keep on taking your console to your buddy's house and back and forth or something like that. That's a horrible idea. Keep the stuff like like they said before, but it all dials back to remember how Xbox was trying to do that control thing where you got a weekly check in and monitor your stuff yeah. like that. So that's what all that stuff came from. Mm -hmm. They just trying to find a way to slide it on up in there underneath of it. So I say keep the physical media going. Don't get to what you call it, uh, the digital only uh, device. Because some people still like to play their Blu-rays and stuff like that, you know, right. to get some stuff. Uh, some people don't like to just stream and download all the time. Mm -hmm. Some people just want to, you know, pop in a disc, bam, you add it, you're going. Sometimes it's faster that way instead of that streaming download because you got everybody on those servers and stuff. It's going to slow down. Right. So. I mean, prime example, you know, I, I moved to a new place and uh, I went from, X, uh, from Verizon to Xfinity. Mm -hmm. And when I when I had Verizon, I was hard, you know, hooked up into my, all my consoles. And with Xfinity, um, I just, you know, say play YouTube, right? And a lot of movies that I have, you know, through Vudu and and, and uh, movies anywhere and YouTube, all those merge. So everything that you purchased on uh, Vudu, you can now watch on YouTube your purchases, and. I find myself trying to watch my purchases and it freezes up oh, yeah. at the beginning. And then I have to go back. I either have to put the disc in or I have to put on, put in my PlayStation and, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes that freezes up and I don't want to always use my physical. <coughs> I don't want to always use my physical media on this. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. And that's because of the internet speed that some people have. And that's just going back to if you don't have good enough internet speed, you're not going to be able to download a game in time enough or you're not going to be able to stream a game. Because mm -hmm. that's where they want you to go now, like with PlayStation Now. I know we talk about Xbox, but with PlayStation Now, it's a streaming service. And even Xbox Game Pass, it's a streaming service mm -hmm. as well. So not everybody can stream these games. And you pay this money per month. Mm -hmm. And you can't stream these games. If you live out West Virginia. And you live in the mountains. There is no Comcast or Xfinity or whatever. It, it's nothing up there. And even people that live in Maryland. Like deep in La Plata. And oh let me tell you man. <laughs> deep in La Plata. They got nothing but trees. <coughs> They don't got Comcast out there, and a lot of people have direct TV. Mm -hmm. And it, it's kind of hard doing that without a physical disc. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Xbox trying to test the waters with this this uh, video game, this mid-generation Xbox S without a optical drive. Um, I, I, myself, I wouldn't support that. What? So it's a, it's, it's a bad thing, man. And if they turn everything digital, you have to remember back in the day, and I know back in my day and all this other stuff, <laughs> GameSpy. Yeah. GameSpy was one of the leader of digital content, video games. GameSpy all of a sudden one day said, hey, we're not doing it no more. And if you didn't uh, download all your games or you built another PC or something happened, you had to re-download all these games that you purchased, you may have spent close to $2,000 on video games. Because they was like $30 a piece back then. You know, cheaper than that, some of them. Then you SOL. Because the server is no longer gone. 
I mean there. And, you know, eventually one day, we're not going to have Xbox Live, and we're not going to have PlayStation. Um, and all that stuff that you had brought in the server mm -hmm. is gone. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at that, that game that PlayStation had, uh, PlayStation 3, that free game that they had. It was like an open world type game. Mm -hmm. I forget what it's called, but that's no longer. And then they had microtransactions on there, like you could buy outfits and and stuff like that. And it was oh, just like the yeah, uh, yeah the, the little PlayStation World or something like that. Yeah, so, that's what I was talking about. And then they just cut it. That was it. Like, oh, they just lost all their money. Those people that paid money for like outfits and stuff like that. I know exactly. What you're and it was in beta version the whole time. Yeah. PlayStation Home or something. Yeah, that's what it was called. That's what it was. Yeah. And look at PlayStation Home. So it went home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Give me all this money. I'm like, okay. I'm Thank gonna you. fix this. I'm gonna fix this. Ball. That's what they all right, everybody <laughs> left. Everybody left. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they switched the sound from from open to shut down <coughs> permanently. Yeah. So it's a lot of mistakes from that, man. Well, sure, I think that's about it. That's about it. All right, so like always, you guys can hit us up at the game show. Give us a comment. Game show for the night. Don't forget to head on the Facebook store page to find all the prices. Don't forget to hit us up on WeTime. Don't forget to subscribe. Come Gamers Club member. And please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks. Join our Steam West community and our website community where you can get some free stuff. Yeah. So we'll see you next time on WWTS. We will. Thanks. The Game Show. See you next time. Keep watching.